back to Oscar Overlander. Welcome back to my channel. Today we will talk about gas struts, what length, what strength, and how to install it, what positioning, as you saw on the thumbnail. And I think it is a good topic to talk about because for some people it is still kind of unknown how and what. So therefore, we get right into it, talk about these things. You can find struts almost everywhere, in the household, on cars, like here, is a patio or furniture, or here, as I showed you, on overhead hatches, or as well here. So the first question is actually, what are they for? That is uh, pretty simple to answer. Gas struts, they should help lift heavy weights and or hold them up in the open position. So there is an endless variety uh, of uh, gas struts out there. Short, soft, normal length, let's say but uh, softer than the other, as you can see with different cylinder diameters, because this one is way stronger than that one. Um, super long ones for uh, hatches on cars, automobiles, you know, like, so which one is uh, the right one for you, for your project? That's what I want to explain, uh, but not on a kind of research way with a lot of math formulas and stuff like that. More like quick, like out of a rule of thumb. To find out which gas strut will be the right one for our project, I made this uh, cabinet, let's say. Uh, don't judge me by the quality of it. Uh, it's pretty ghetto, I know. But all we need is this lid to visualize the position of the lid to the corpus and to visualize the measurements. So that's why I made it. And we can find out uh, what gas strut we need for this, let's say, cabinet the door as an example. Now, let's get to it to find out which gas strut will be the right one for you. First off, step number one is measuring the height. I'm talking about the height of the door. The width is not important. The height of the door is important. So we measure this here and we say it is 15 inches. In metric it is 380 millimeter. This is what we note down on a piece of paper. Now to visualize it we write it down. This is our cabinet door and uh, as I said the width is not important important is the height and our height in this case is 15 inches now rule of thumb is the length of the gas strut should be 50 percent of the height means half the length in our case uh, seven and a half all the way up to Two thirds, yeah, two thirds of the of the length, which would be in our case ten inches. So the length of the gas strut in extended position means from the center of this ball receiver to the center of the other ball receiver here. This length should be seven and a half. To 10 inches. Now if we measure, let's turn this so you can see where the, the ball receiver is. Now if we measure this one I have here, center to center is nine and a half inches. This is perfect, perfect, the perfect length for this project here, for this uh, door. Okay, that's how you do it. I will repeat that in millimeter now. Now quick this whole thing in millimeter. For those of you, they work only with millimeter. 
The door height is 380 millimeter. Half of it is 190 millimeter and two thirds is 254 millimeter. So our gas strut should be somewhere within those measurements, 190 to 250. So let's uh, take this for example again, go from center to center ball receiver. And we see here, we are reading 245 millimeter within our specs, perfect. So we have determined the length of the gas strut. Now we need to find out the strength of the gas strut. Now to find out what force you need on the gas strut, so that the, the strut is able to push this weight up, the weight of the lid, is it important to find out the weight? And how do you find out the weight? I mean, that's pretty common sense, pretty obvious. You have to undo, you know, basically in this case, we have to undo the, the, the lid or the, the door and uh, put it on a scale. We have to weigh it. So in this case, it is a pretty light uh, uh, object. So I would put it on a kitchen scale or yeah, uh, on some scale, which uh, can, this is maybe somewhere in between, I don't know, <laughs> three, four pounds or something like that, you know, so that's what you need to do. In case of bigger objects, like heavier stuff, let's say my panorama window, for example, yeah, or my, my hatches, which I made, I put, uh, I had my personal scale, my bathroom scale here in the shop, uh, uh, scale myself with the object, and then again without and, and, and deduct basically that measurement and then I have the weight of the panorama window or, or hedge in this case. Yeah? So that's how I did it. You may have another scale or something where you can place this object on it even better for you. So and now I'm putting it on a kitchen scale. So we have a kitchen scale here and now our door on top of it. And we read three kilogram, 3000 gram. Now we know the weight of our door. So this, this uh, cabinet door weighs three kilogram and three kilogram in pounds is three times 2.2, 6.6 pounds. So we write this down, 6.6 .6 pounds. That's very, very light. So we need to find out what force we need now. We know the weight and how strong these need to be is basically, there is another rule of thumb. For each kilogram, you need 10 Newton. So yeah, the force is measured in Newton and uh, for each kilogram, you need to have 10 Newton. So we have three kilogram equals 30 Newton. And that's how I would uh, judge the, the force by uh, uh, when, when you look it up and you try to find one on Amazon or um, on any other source, I would go uh, for the Newton. Those are really important. If you have the gas strut uh, sent to your house or to wherever your project is, then we can install it. And the install is actually pretty simple. The way you do it is again, depending on the height of the door. And all you need to know is where is my pivot point, means the hinge. The center of the hinge, 20% to 30% is actually your mounting spot for the, for the center of the gas strap. What I mean by that is we have a 15 inch, my, my pivot point is right at the edge. Let me, let me show you. Oh, you can see it, right? Right at the edge of the cabinet, uh, of the lid is basically the pivot point which where the hinge is, like the center point of the hinge, right there. So means 20% or 30% max in, into the, from the top down, from the hinge away. So we know it's 15 inches. 
So 10% would be one and a half inch. So 20 is three inches in from here to 30% would be four and a half inch, right? To here, let's say. Let's measure that. Oh my God, I just marked it by hand and it's perfect three inches. <laughs> three and I have four and a quarter, so it needs to be four and a half. Okay, now, now we would take this bracket with the, with the uh, attached ball. This is the bracket for that. We would mount it right on here. Either there's a, there's a center mark on it. As you can see, there's a center mark on it right there. So that should be, I put it on top so you can see it better, but it needs to be, on, of course, on, on the underside. If you know your gastrot is very strong, then you go closer to the 20%. If you bought one with 45 Newton, for example, because there was no other available, then you move them closer to the 20%. Because as higher the strength of the, as higher the strength of the gastrot, as the closer you go basically away from the max point or the 30%, you go closer to the 20%. You know what I'm saying? I know that my uh, gastrot is uh, for this application here pretty strong. That's why I installed the bracket closer to the 20% means in my case from the hinge center point to the center of the bracket 20% means in my case three inches. That's where I installed this bracket. I clicked in the, uh, the gas strut and then on the other end I clicked also in the bracket which gets mounted on the carpo corpus. Then I opened the uh, the door the way I wanted it in, in my desired angle so it's 90 degree basically yeah that's a little more than 90 because that strut is so long <laughs> yeah so 90 degree and that's that gives me the point where I have to mount this bracket on the other end onto the corpus I screwed this on removed the brace and now I have a 90 degree open cabinet door and I can close it just perfect. Now, if you open it, you see even even with one gas strut, I have not installed the on the other side. Uh, it would work. In case of the cabinet, you could just do that. Just one one strut is is okay. You know, unless this unless this uh, the cabinet is way longer, like in width. You know, then it may twist or something. So that's better to have two. Towards the end, just a little summary how to find out what gas strut you need and where to put it. First of all, measure the height of your door or lid. It could be a steel lid or something in the ground or whatever you want to flip it up. Whatever it is, measure the height. And then find out what, what length you want to go with. Do the math, divide it by half, divide it by three. So that gives you the two thirds, half till two thirds is the length of the extended gas strut means from the ball part uh, the ball center here to the ball center here in the extended condition not in the compressed condition so that's the length that gives you the length most important and then weigh the lid weigh this object you want to push up it could be even a bed let's say a bed with mattress you know scale the up structure the mattress and you find out the, the overall weight, what uh, this gas strut has to push up. Keep in mind, for each kilogram you want to uh, push up, you need 10 Newton. So if you have 10 kilogram to push up, that's 100 Newton. If you have 100 kilogram to push up, like a heavy steel door or something, that's 1,000 Newton. Okay, so that's how you find it out. Installing is not really rocket science. This is the only tricky point to find it. You could even mount it here and then go there. Oh, by the way, this is a, the, this type of application called uh, push-up application. And there is another one called roll-over application. So it's basically when the, the strut is installed like this. So it's probably on the, pretty much on the end, as you can see. I hope you can see it. My, yeah, pretty much on the end. And this is high up. That application is uh, available as well. And what it does is this gas strut, when you close the lid, rolls over, right? But that's too complicated. This is good enough for the most of us. 
So yeah, that's how you do it. So this is it for this week from me, from us, uh, in regards of the uh, gas strats. Uh, I hope that uh, video helped uh, someone to find the right uh, strut for his project. And uh, I will continue with my panorama window, which I will show in the next video. And until then, stay tuned and I see you in the next one.